الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد دعوه اهل السنه السلفيه the منهج of the salaf of this ummah which is based on the quran and the sunnah of the prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam and the understanding of the sahaba radiyallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'in and the dawah to salaf dawah to salafia is the dawah which is based upon the hadith of the messenger of allah sallallahu alayhi wasallam who said khayr an-nas qarni thumma alladhina yulunuhum thumma alladhina yulunuhum the prophet alayhi afdal salatu wasallam said the best people is my generation then those who follow them and then those who follow them and it is also the dawa which is based upon another hadith of the prophet alayhi afdal salatu wasalam who said attaqu allah wa sam'i wa alaykum bi sam'i wa ta'a wan abdin habashiyan fa innahu man ya'ish minkum min ba'di fa sayara ikhtilafan kathira wa alaykum bi sunnati wa sunnati khulafa rashidin al mahdiin adu alayha bi nawadij wa iyyaka wa muhtathar al umur fa inna kullu bid'atin dalala and so dawah to salafiyah dawah to ahlus sunnah is also based upon that hadith these ahadith form the usul or the foundation and the methodology of the salaf of this ummah and what ahlus sunnah is upon and the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said in that hadith that it is upon you to hear and obey even if the leader was an, was an Ethiopian slave and whoever lives after me sh- shall see many differences many many differences of opinion many differences in manhaj and methodology and aqeedah as we see fa sayara ikhtilafan kathira so it's upon you my sunnah and the sunnah of the rightly guided khalifa adhere to it or ho- grab on to it cling to it with your molar teeth and beware of newly innovated matters cuz every newly innovated matter is misguidance and this is the dawa to ahlus sunnah and i want to read something very beneficial very short uh, a very short statement which is an introduction of a very beneficial book and the introduction is by one of our mashayikh sheikh suleiman ibn salim allah al rahili hafizallah ta'ala one of the mashayikh and the doctors or professors at uh, Jamia Islamia in Medina Medina to Nabawiya so he said the sheikh said half of Allah ta'ala he said alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala la nabi la nabiya ba'dahu wa ba so he said all praises belongs to Allah and may peace and blessings be upon uh the one who there is no prophet after him alayhi salatu wasalam and then he said and as for what comes next fa inna salafiyata laha ma'ana naqiyya tahir wa biha salal batin wa zahir wa fiha tahqiq haq khaliq al khalq wa rahmata wa rahmatu bil khalq fa hiya ni'mata kulluha wa khair kulluha wa rahmatu kulluha wa adl kulluha So the Sheikh said Hafiz Allah Ta'ala he said very salafia it is a pure it is pure in its meaning and it is that which rectifies open and uh, that which is outward and that which is concealed and it is that which actualizes the right of the creator of the creation and the mercy for the creation and it is a blessing all of it and it is good all of it and it is mercy all of it and is justice all of it then he said hafiz allah ta'ala fa wallahi inna salafiyata fiha khair lil ifradi wal mujtami'at wa fiha al aman bil anwa'ihi amal al qulub wa amal al ifrad wa amal al mujtami'at wa aman ala dhururiyat so the sheikh said and by allah he swore by allah that salafia it is the goodness for the individual and for the various societies 
and it is security or safety it, from the various ways, the various types of safety. The safety or security of the heart and the security of the individual and the safety of the societies and the security of all the essential things for everything essential thumma qal wa hiya minhaj bayyan bi dhatihi munbabat bi usulihi faman tasamma biha ardanahu alayha faman sadaqtuhu fa huwa sadiq al muhtadi wa man kadhabtuhu fa huwa al kadhib al muhtadi then the sheikh hafizallah ta'ala said and it is meaning it is the methodology which is clear uh, in and of itself and it is its foundation is has been formally formulated perfectly so whoever calls themselves by it or claims to be salafi or to follow the da'wah to ahl sunnah or uh, the salaf of this ummah then we look we will basically put them on the scale of it to make it, to judge them by letting us know it's not sufficient just to have a name and a claim and then he said have Allah ta'ala he said whoever believes in it then he is uh, trustworthy and guided and whoever denies it then he is a liar uh, a, 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 a a wicked lying person then the sheikh said hafiz allah ta'ala wa mimma yanbaghi idraquhu wa fahmuhu and the salafiyata hiya salafiyatu faman qaydaha bi qayd ka qawlihim salafiyatu jihadiyya faqaf inda dhalika qayd fasatujid khalalan fi tasawwur wa mukhalafatu lil usul da'at ila dhalika qayd the sheikh said hafiz allah ta'ala something very important here he said so it is essential to know it meaning know the da'wah to salafiyya and understand it and that salafiyya it is salafiyya meaning it's according to the quran and the sunnah and the the methodology of the sahaba radiyallahu ta'ala radiyallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'in so whoever restricts it with a restriction like the, those people who say salafiyya jihadiyya you know that there's salafi jihadis then we must stop and take a look at this thing they have restricted it to or that they have defined it as and then if if you do you'll find a lot of shortcomings in understanding what salafiyya is or or what these people are upon and you'll see that there is a that they have deviated from the foundation that they call to with this by restricting it then the sheikh said hafiz allah ta'ala wa ma ahwaj an-nas al-yawm ila ma'rufati as-salafiyyati al-haqqa wa iltizamaha fi zaman ikhtalat fihi al-mafahim wa asbaha yansab ila as-salafi ma la yu'rif an anhum wa la taqbaluhu usuluhum wa tatawil an-nas ala salafiyya igtiraran bid'a ulaik the sheikh said hafiz allah ta'ala he said and what and the people are in great need in this time of understanding salafiyya in its reality and adhering to it especially in this time when many the people have many different understandings have mixed with it and 
you'll find that there are those individuals who can, uh, claim or associate themselves with the Salaf, but they don't have uh, they don't have any knowledge about Salafi or, or, or about the Salaf. And they do not even accept its foundation, its usul, its foundations. And you'll find that the people with their various claims have deviated from this path. And so these are some of the benefits that we can gain when we follow the da'wah to Ahl Sunnah and we understand what it means and we adhere to its foundation and the various foundations in creed, in manners, in methodology and understanding Islam and how we deal with the text and about knowing who Allah is and how to worship Him properly. When we do all of these things and try and strive our best to understand these things as the Sahaba understood and propagated, then Ayu al Habba will be on a successful path. And it's imperative that we know that not everyone who claims Salafiya or not everyone who claims to follow the Minhaj of the Salaf or the Madhab of the Salaf or claims to be from Ahlul Sunnah or claims to be from Ahlul Sunnati wal Jama'ah or Ahlul Athar or Ahlul Hadith that they are as they claim. And this is why the scholars say Al Ibra bi Haqaiq laysa bi musammiyat that the Ibra, the, the reality of something is not in the claim, not in the name, but it is in what it is in reality, meaning what the person practiced. So related to what we're, in, what we're discussing, that because someone says they're Salafi, or that they follow the Salaf, or the minhaj of the Salaf, we have to look, as the Sheikh said, Hafizullah Ta'ala, we have to look at them and make a comparison between them, what their claim is, and what their foundation in understanding this beautiful religion is. And we ask Allah the Almighty to bless us with al nafiyah wa rizqan tayyibah, wa amal mutaqabbiman, and any mistakes that are contained Therein are from myself. Anything that was correct was from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And may Allah bless all of our ulama, especially Sheikh Suleiman al-Rahili and all of our ulama of Ahl Sunnah, wherever they may be, for their contributions and from them holding on and setting the example for us. Adhering to Kitabi Allah wa Sunnatul Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala Muhammad.